Hey there, why so gloomy? The Android Summit is over. Ah. Oh. It was a great event, so many developers building cool stuff. Yeah. And Dave Burke presented, that was great. Yeah, I know he's very special to you, but you know what? Know what? You should cheer up, because a new version of Google Play services has just been released. That's great. Yeah, awesome. For you developers, this means it's time to go out there and build better apps using Google Play services. Let's check out the highlights. Welcome to release 8.4 of Google Play Services. Let's start this off with new announcements for the App Invites API. As you may recall, you can already add your own custom image that your friends will see when they receive an app invite. Well, in this release, we took that concept even further, now allowing you to put any custom content for the entire invite. This gives you the power to truly customize the invites to perfectly match a context and make the invite as attractive as possible. And now turning to the Maps API. As you know, it's been possible to draw polygons on maps for a long time. For example, here we have a map of Mountain View in California, and here we have drawn a polygon around the Moffett Airfield. And here's a polygon around my favorite working place, the Googleplex. The cool thing we introduced in this release is that you can add a click listener to these polygons. So for example, if the user clicked on the polygon around Googleplex, then your app could automatically zoom into the entire area. You have defined for that polygon. So this brings user interactions to the next level. Turning our attention to the Play Games Player Stats API. Remember that in a previous release, we talked about how important data is to understand game player behavior, and that the Player Stats API in Play Game Services put structure to it, allowing you to turn this data into actions based on user spending, engagement, and progression in your game. Well, in this release, we've extended this concept by allowing you to look into the future because we're now giving you two probabilities you can take actions based on. How likely your users are to churn, and how likely your users are to spend money over the next week. And this is almost like magic, since it's giving you a hint of what might happen in the future. Prior to this release, it could have looked something like this. Okay, let's predict this app. No! Turn prediction! Okay, let's predict another app. Yes! 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 Revenue prediction! <sighs> Luckily. That was how it could have looked like before this release of Google Play services. Now both of these probabilities are part of PlayerStats API, giving you the power to understand player behavior at a level previously only available to big studios. And we also have some announcements for Fused Location Provider. As you know, Fused Location Provider can combine information using GPS, cell tower, and Wi-Fi signals to accurately determine position. In this release, we have greatly improved how Fused Location Provider detects location from cell towers. Before, location was retrieved using only the primary cell tower, but now Fused Location Provider also uses other towers nearby to provide accurate location. And we've also improved location detection from Wi-Fi access points, particularly in areas where GPS is not available, such as indoors. And you get even more with this release because we have also important announcements for the Nearby API. Remember the Nearby Publish Subscribe architecture, which allows your app to detect and retrieve data from beacons. Well, in this release, we've enhanced this capability, so your app does not have to be in the foreground to detect a beacon. You can now get notified when a beacon is nearby, even when your app is in the background. Check out the release blog post for more information. And for the Mobile Vision API, we now have added support for ASTIC barcodes. And that's it for the highlights of this release. But check out some of these other resources as well. Now it's your turn to build better apps using Google Play services. So go out there 
and create some great apps. And don't forget to tell us all about it.